My name is Paul Hepperla, and I'm the Vice President of Product Strategy. Started in 1993 and went to work for a company called Johnson Controls, and that was very focused on commercial buildings, so healthcare, uh, K through 12, universities, other commercial type of buildings. And then after that, went to a company called Building Automation Products, which is a temperature and humidity sensor manufacturer, and headed up national sales for them. And then from there, came back to Johnson Controls and worked on construction, so new construction business development. So we were partnering. Uh, with the largest general contractors in the world to create at the time called a boom, which is build, own, operate, maintain. So rather than you as a building owner having to own your facility, we would build it, own it, and operate it, and maintain it. And then uh, Excel Energy for a brief period of time, uh, so focused on supply side and national accounts. Shortly thereafter, went and worked for SuperValue for four years for as manager of energy and operations. So there we worked with the independent retailers that SuperValue wholesale to, and then also worked with all of their uh, corporate stores on either supply side or energy demand side projects. So we're rolling out energy awareness programs, rolling out technical solutions, lighting retrofits, so on and so forth in place. And then with the independent uh, retailers that we worked with, consulting with them on energy opportunities, maintenance opportunities, and helping them implement. And then I came here in 2006 and I was director of energy services to start with, uh, with a focus on building out the energy product because we didn't have it uh, when we started and that pretty quickly branched into carbon emissions as well and then uh, continued to just evolve up into the strategy role. Yeah, I am responsible for overall direction of where our product will go and so what that means is looking at the marketplace, uh, looking at our current clients and looking at our prospective clients and then also looking at a competitive atmosphere to understand what do we need to develop in our product to continue to be leading edge? The initial attraction was when I was at SuperValue, I was looking for a software solution. So in commercial buildings, a lot of people have maintenance management programs in place, and they also have applications to use. And in gross retail, when I came there, I found that nobody had applications to use for maintenance management. So I initially went out and was looking for the, those types of solutions and was introduced to Verisa at that time and one of the things that I saw was very, very compelling is that rather than having an administrative person um, keying in all the maintenance activities, Verisa was the only company I've ever seen that transferred all that work to the contractors for them to do as part of the process. And so that was the initial attraction of Verisa and then spent time with uh, uh, the original founder, spent time with uh, former president as well as Jim Peterson and Rob to understand what the company was made of and I thought a lot of really, really good compelling ideas a huge opportunity to save customers a lot of money. And so that's, uh, uh, that's when I came over.